Alright, here we go. Hold your ears, folks. It's showtime. 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 Pitted his best hand against the neighboring rancher's best hand. And it was there and then that not only a sport, but a lifestyle was born. Today, the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association leads the way and sets the bar as one of the top ten spectator sports on the planet. On this Tough Enough to Wear Pink Friday night, we proudly welcome you to Utah's own PRC Rodeo. from Exeter, California, and on behalf of our team rodeo company, Evelyn Kirby and family, and the Cowboys and Cowgirls of the PRCA, we welcome you to the greatest show on dirt here this weekend. Last night, we kicked this thing off with fast times and high scores. If you were here, you saw that 91-point prop ride. What is going to happen tonight? As we roll here through Sunday and Patriot Day, friends, anything can happen, because it's rodeo, and it usually does happen. Now, tonight, you notice the pink bucket shoots, all of us in pink Wrangler shirts. About eight or nine years ago, Wrangler jeans and shirts and the PRCA teamed up together to form a program called Tough Enough to Wear Pink. That is where participating rodeos and rodeo fans can go down to the local Western store, buy pink Wrangler shirts, the net proceeds of any of the pink merchandise would benefit cancer research. We are proud to say that since the inception of this program, you rodeo fans and participating rodeo committees in the rodeo community have raised over nine million dollars for cancer research. We are very proud of that fact and just by virtue of you being here tonight, friends, you are going to love it. It is going to be awesome. It is always special. So we want to know, before we get cranked up tonight, what kind of mood you're in, Salt Lake City? Somebody scream! dignitaries the beautiful Ram truck from Hinkley Dodge. For over 30 years, Ram has been our official truck of professional rodeo, and the oldest Dodge dealer in the United States is right here in Salt Lake City on South State Street. Here tonight, we're very proud to welcome the leadership of the Utah State Fair in the back. We want to welcome our brand new Fair Park Executive Director, Mr. Clark Karras. He's here with us. Welcome. Also to our fair board. Chairman of the board this year is Mr. Roger Beatty. Fair board members include Gary Arrington, Steve Bart, Kent Butters, Laura Carabello, Ginger Casper, Steve Krishnick, Don Marchant, and Randy Parker, along with Lowell Peterson. Also in the back of that truck is the national symbol for fire prevention, Smokey Bear. The young bear cub was rescued in a New Mexico wildfire many years ago. He was nursed back to health, and that is where we came up with Smokey Bear. Thank you to Marilyn and the Utah Department of Forestry for being uh, our voice and voice of common sense, reminding you that only you can prevent forest fires. Here tonight, we're very proud to welcome some visiting royalty from the Dinosaur Roundup PRCA Rodeo. Up in Vernal, Utah, say hello to the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo Queen. This is Tiffany King from Ogden. Our first attendant is Angela Perry from Vernal. And we recognize the second attendant tonight here as well, Cassidy Arnold from Ebert, Utah. The talented men and women from up north in Weaver County. We welcome the boys from Ogden and welcome the Weaver County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. They come to us 20 something strong here each year for their precision mounted drill. And 
and they unveiled the new drill last night that brought the house down. You were good and lucky. Thank you guys and gals for being here with us. Thank you very much, guys and gals, for the Weber County Sheriff's County Posse. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to have one of the greatest American experiences you will ever have here at the Utah State Fair and Utah's own ERCA Rodeo. As we do this tonight, and we do it right each and every night in professional rodeo, we start it off as we welcome Old Glory to our league. Two beautiful young ladies bring in our flags tonight as a symbol of what this country is all about. 235 years ago, a document was penned and signed known as our nation's birth certificate called the Declaration of Independence. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator, with certain unalienable rights to include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Since then, our country has risen to the top of the world as a beacon of hope for freedom, liberty, and democracy. And we do that through teaching our generations. You are in the family capital of our country, and there is no other place where family is exhibited the way it is here in Utah. Future generations are what keep this country going. Future generations of teachers, of leaders, of business people, and military service people. But we dedicate this rodeo and this weekend not only to our first responders who are there when we call 911, but the greatest fighting force that the world has ever known, our United States Armed Forces. For members of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and National Guard. For 24-7, 365 days a year, they protect our sky, seas, and shores. In a couple of weeks in September, you and your family can show the rest of the world what this country's all about with the State Fair and Rodeo. Oh, and hope Glory could speak to your heart right now. We think she might say, and I am the 50 stars and 13 stripes of the greatest nation on God's green earth, the United States of America. Yes, we are proud. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you at this time to please join us in your own way in a cowboy prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we pause mindful of the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. And we ask that you'll be with us at this rodeo. And we pray that you will guide us through the arena of life. And we don't ask for any special favors. We don't ask to draw around to shoot fighting horse or to never break a barrier. Nor do we ask for all daylight runs or not to draw a steer that just won't play. But help us, Lord, and of our lives in such a manner so when we make that last inevitable ride to the country up there, where the grass grows lush green and stir up high, and the water runs cool, clear, and deep, that you, as our last judge will tell us, that our entry fees are paid. Lord, we also pray for our government leaders, that they may base their decisions upon common sense and logic, and not for personal or political gain, so we may remain one nation under you, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All these things we ask in your name, Amen. Amen. We are honored tonight to have a beautiful lady with one of the most beautiful singing voices I've ever heard. As she presents America's number one song, we invite you to lift your hearts and voices and join Carly Christofferson in our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes 